Hi, this is Lady Let's UK and this is a dreams tutorial. Uh, I've had a few requests. People want to know how to put scoreboards in their game. Um, I have been a bit reluctant to do it because I'm not 100% on this. Um, I'm going to give you the basics. Hopefully this will allow you to uh, at least add a, a simple scoreboard into your game. But there are some oddities about the scoreboard that makes this a little awkward to use. But um, hopefully this will give you a, a steer. At least you could do something um, basic. Right, so we're going to make a game, game scene. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, clicker game. Just a very simple clicker game. So we'll pop our microchip down. There's our microchip. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a controller sensor in. I'm going to take out all these horrible default wires, which I wish were not there. Go to remote control sensor and made him remote control. So that's ready. Then we're going to put in a variable and a variable modifier. I'm going to change this variable name to clicks displayed. You can change these numbers if you want, but to be honest, I'd leave them. Um, they are okay to use as they are. Variable modifier, we're going to add to clicks displayed. So we've changed that by using the D D pad down to click on to clicks displayed. And whoop, there we go. We're going to add one to the value. That's what that modifier does. It adds one to this value. And it's going to add one by clicking on the cross. Okay, so now let's do uh, put a display, a number displayer on there, and display the current value of that. And that's there. Let's make that a bit big, like so. And we can put it into test mode by pressing L3 down. And now I can click away. As you can see, the number's going up. There is the number up here, and you can see that this is flashing. Every time I press the X button, it's flashing. Just put one to that variable. So we've got an easy counter of how many clicks I've put in. Okay, so that's at stage one. Let's turn that number display off. Right, that's stage one. Now we're going to put a timer in. So I've got a timer here. And we're going to turn the timer off and rewind it. So we want our timer to go up to um, 10 seconds. Like so. And we want to put down another number, number displayer. And we want it to show the current time in there. And we'll put that there. And we'll change this so that it's showing milliseconds like that. Right, so let's try that. So now I've got a 10 second count. And I can press this like that. And it gets 10 and it stops. But I can still carry on pressing. So um, that's no good. We've got to do something about our game so that it will, uh, we, you can only press the button when the timer is going. So we'll put in an AND gate and a NOT gate. And we'll say when timer is finished, we're going to send a signal to this NOT gate. And that's going to go in there AND gate. This cross is going to go on the AND gate. We're going to delete that one. And we're going to put the result in up here. So now it's looking to see if this timer has finished. If it's not finished and you press the X button, then it's going to add to the modifier. Otherwise, it's not going to. So let's just test test that out. So we can press the button while the timer is going. There we go. I'm pressing the button. Nothing's happened. It's not adding to that 
score modifier. Right there, that timer, that variable. It's not a score. It's a timer. It's a variable. Right, okay, so we've done that so far. Now we want to add that to a scoreboard. Right, so let's, let's turn that off, rewind it. Uh, now, before I do that, let me just say something. Um, when I was doing this tutorial, I tried this with a countdown timer. So I just changed that to, to minus. And as by doing that, suddenly it doesn't work. Let me go. It's going to do in the countdown. And we get to zero. And I can still count up. Look. It is not registering that it has finished when it's on a countdown. I'm assuming this is a bug and that this should do that, but it doesn't. Um, I'm going to report it because I think that isn't quite right. Um, but there's there's a warning. Uh, at the moment, it will only work with a count up, this particular thing. But let's not say that, that your game will be involving timers, so you'll probably be fine. But in this um, tutorial, that's what I've used. OK, so now we've got our variable. That's showing our score, but it's not posting it as a score. So now we go to gameplay gear and we type put down score. And as you can see, it's very, very similar, except it's white. That's our score variable. And this is our score modifier variable. So it's exactly the same as the variable and variable modifier, except these handle the score and they're white. Right, so what we're going to do is when the timer has finished, we're going to send a pulse to this post score right here. And this score modifier. is currently looking for this score, which is this up here. So let's change the name of our score to whatever you want the scoreboard to be called. So uh, you might want to call it Click Masters. We go call it click masters and now this is going to look for click masters like so now we need something that this is going to uh, change the score on here so what we're going to do we're going to take the current value of that variable and stick it in there that's the operation value and we're going to set that not add it, set it. And we're going to change this to continuously while powered. So this is continuously on, continuously modifying this score. So, so we turn it on. Now you can see our score is going up exactly the same amount as this. And 14 was our score. Uh, this score stopped, but also this wire posted this result to the scoreboard at the same time. When this reached zero, it uh, reached ten. It uh, it sent that score to the scoreboard, but we don't have a scoreboard right now um, because we haven't put this in a dream. There is no scoreboard and you cannot um, test your scoreboard without putting it live somewhere. So we're going to save this. Um, we'll call it click. like so and then we have to save this as private to test it we've saved it as private and now it's saved right exit 
Whoops. Now you want to go into dreams and create a new one and find your click game. There it is there. Then we need to save it. Like so. And then we'll save this as private. And that's online. Right. Exit. Go into my creations. There's click. I can now play it. So I'm going to try and get as many as I can. There we go. 54. And we'll exit. And we'll have a look at the scoreboard. There it is. Click Masters 54. There's also the time that I did it and my name. So you've tested it. It works. Okay. But you haven't exited the game. So we're going to have to come out of there. Go back into here. And do something with this. So now we've got a score and it is posting the score, which is all, all great, but the game doesn't end. Um, but you don't want it to get the game to end instantly. Um, so what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, somehow create um, a delay. So we're going to put another timer in. It's already set to five seconds, that's probably about right. So when this has finished, we're going to start this timer. And then we're going to stick a doorway in. And that's, that's going to act as our exit. And we'll just put an interesting exity thing there um that that lacked as our exit now if we did this entire exit the same time as we post the score the score will not get posted because the game will end before uh, the uh, the the score has a chance to actually um, score anything. So um, be very careful about that. So we've got this delay between this time of finishing and this time of finishing. So the time between posting your score and ending your game, your game has to end after you've posted the score. So this should work. So we're going to quick save this. Come out, go to our dream, go to edit. What happened there? I didn't go to our dream at all. Go to our dream, go to edit. All right, there's an update now. Must update that change. I've clicked on uh, auto update. You still need to do this, but it you don't have to guess which one is it, it, it is. Then we'll do save version, private, click you've got to do this every time right this is make private that's fine leave it as make private let's come out of this okay let's reset progress and play again So we're clicking away. Oh, I only got 53 this time. Game is over. I can now check out the scoreboard. I didn't beat my time, so 54 is, is on there. 
so we what we need to do we're gonna um sorry press the wrong button uh we've got to edit the scoreboard so we're going to scoreboard we're going to edit and uh, you can change whether it's a number or a time whether the better score is higher or lower or whether the multi multiplayer boards are separate or combined I'm actually not 100% sure what this is because we don't have multiplayer at the moment and um, that will be something that will come in uh, when multiplayer now if I press reset it will reset everything so there is no scores on the scoreboards do not press that that will delete your your scoreboard and you will not be getting it back ever <laughs> right so clip master is now empty so we now play you do this to check that we've got our scores we're trying to get a nice high score up here there's 54 there's the end of our game let's have a look at the scoreboard there i am 54. before it was empty and now i'm back in so we know it works there's our scoreboard and we called it click masters there we go so that's how you do your scoreboards now as you can see i panicked when we went into the scoreboard and there was this delete button deleting the scoreboard cannot be undone are you sure right let's be clear this is deleting the scoreboard not resetting it to zero and wiping everybody's entries this is actually getting rid of the scoreboard and once you've done this you cannot put a scoreboard back on your game so do not under any circumstances say yes to that <laughs> because you'll find there are all sorts of problems now let me show you another issue so i've got one scoreboard and it's all good let's say i i go into my game and I don't like the name Clickmasters. Let's change it. I don't like Clickmasters at all. Um, I'm going to call it Clickers. Oh, spell it like that. Clickers. There we go. I've changed the name of it. Change the score after my thing to say Clickers. There we go. I've just changed the name. That's all I've done. I'm going to save that. go into my dream it's now updated my saved game I'm going to save that to private so now I can view what I've done that's still private that's good I'm going to reset progress okay so now I look at my scoreboard Clipmasters is still there I'm going to play the game. Okay, I scored 50. Okay, the game's going to end. Now I look at the scoreboard. Clickers, 50. Excellent. Clickmasters, that's still there. Clickers and Clickmasters are now both there. This is the situation where because I've changed the name of the scoreboard, I now have two scoreboards. Now, that, that might be useful to you, so maybe you made some changes. You want to keep people's old scores, but you've got a new part of the game, and now you want it to, to show like this. But sometimes you've done it by accident, and then you end up with this scoreboard. Now, let's see if we can get rid of Clickmasters. So we're going to edit Clickmasters. We're going to delete this board yes okay so now we've got rid of that extra board that we did not want because we've changed the name of it this has taken me a while to work this one out but if you've only got one board do not delete it right okay so we've done that we've deleted our scoreboard so let's see if we can get a a, a a better time let's go if 
but it'd be better than 54. 50. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, but otherwise, uh, you're only going to see the, your one entry. Uh, and if you don't want your entry to be there at all, you can reset it. Do not delete. Let's reset. And there we go. So now we have clickers and that's our thing. Now, obviously, uh, you would now release your game and change it to playable. And um, you will start releasing parts of your game to the general public so they can play it. So there's the school board. I hope that has helped you uh, understand what you need to do. You, What you basically do is you take, let me just go back to the game. What you basically do is you have hit it, your score in a variable. This variable then you could make persistent across worlds and all sorts of things. You make it into a variable and then you post that to your score modifier which you make sure is continuously sending that score to your score variable, but only posts that score when you are ready. So whatever the uh, action is to post the score, that is how you do it with a wire, with a, with a signal, with a, uh, a pulse, with a single pulse, not a signal. A brief signal, a single pulse will post that score. That's what you want. You want it to do it the once with a single pulse. There you go. So it could be a, a click on the end of the gate, get to the end of the game. But don't forget, if you're going to have an, a doorway with the end of the game, that actual doorway must activate after this. It doesn't have to be five seconds after. I've been, it's a little bit of a long time, one second half a second a split second as long as it ha happens after you've posted the score it should work fine now i'm expecting a lot of people to go i tried all of this and it didn't work i'm gonna i'm gonna say now um if it doesn't work for you um it's 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 going to be something to do with either this score is not being continually modified and changed so the score is wrong or whatever you are using to activate the the post of the score um is not activating it and i'm not going to be able to help you it's one of those things it, it's individual to everybody's games how these scoreboards work this is the basics of how they work but every single game is going to be different with its different challenges so um however you've got that as long as there is it is sending a pulse and you can check this with various um text gadgets and things that you can see whether or not a, a pulse is being sent and things like that um as long as a post is being set, it will post the score. Uh, but it must be in a dream. It must be live in some capacity. You cannot do it locally. It has to go through the servers because that's where the scoreboards are housed. So it has to be either private or public. There you go. That's a long-winded one. Thank you for watching. Hope it was useful. And I'll catch you in your dreams.